This is a video demonstration of module 13 written by Muhammad Yunus and John O'Brien. It describes making a candle holder using the swept boss base feature in SOLIDWORKS. We will make use of SOLIDWORKS 2018 version to make the candle holder as shown on the screen. It comprises of a base and a helix on top of it to accommodate the candle. We would start with the base to make different sketches and a helix on top of it as a, another one. We would later combine all of these sketches to form a composite curve which would then act as the path for the swept feature. To start with, we will select the top plane. So we start with a new new file from the standard toolbar, path file. We'll have the units as IPS. We start with the top plane, making it a sketching plane. We make use of line in an arc command. On the sketch toolbar, we select the line. We draw a line and then a horizontal line. We then sketch an arc. Either you may use the arc option from the sketch toolbar or you may continue with the same command, the line command. Do not drop the second point on the line. Get back to the starting point and then as you move again forward, you will find an arc being generated from the same command. Try to make an open arc. Let us define the sketch by giving the dimensions. We make we select the smart dimension and the sketch toolbar, assign a distance of 1 inch between the origin and the start of the line. We define the radius of the arc as 2.5. Let us add the center line between the origin and the end of the arc giving it an angle of 25 25 degree to the horizontal making the sketch the the arc concentric with the origin to fully define the sketch. We would save and exit the sketch. We now move over to the front plane, making it a sketching plane. We sketch a arc a three point arc with the starting point here as the end of the line from the previous sketch. We go right above the origin and drop the second point of the arc, the third point giving the curvature on the inner side. We then sketch a vertical line above the origin. We assign an overall height of 2 inches. Assign the other appropriate relations to fully, fully define the sketch. We have a tangency relation between the arc and the vertical line. A 
the tangency relation between the arc and the line from the previous sketch. Fully define the sketch, save and exit. We have got the second sketch in the front plane. We now move over to the right plane, making a third sketch. We make another arc, a three point arc. and a straight line, a horizontal line. We assign a horizontal distance of one inch. Let's drag the end point of the arc to have the arc followed by the line. <coughs> we assign a tangency relation between the arc and the line a similar relation between the arc and the line from the previous sketch make sure that the start point of the of the arc in the present sketch is coincident and is pierced with the end point from the previous sketch. We pick up the start point of the arc, the line from the previous sketch, and assign a relation of pierce. You can pick up multiple entities by keeping the control key pressed on the keyboard while you make the selection. We assign a radius of 0.5 on the arc. <coughs> we save and exit the fully defined sketch. We would now make a sketch for the helix that is to be added on the top and a arc which joins the end of the base here to the helix. We would need a new plane to make those sketches. We go over features toolbar, select reference geometry, plane. The first reference is the point coming in from the <coughs> previous sketch as coincident made. You have the second reference as the top plane with the relation of parallel. Say OK. Let us rename the plane here as helix plane. Making a sketch from the helix plane. Let's go normal to it. Add a circle from the sketch toolbar which is concentric to the base circle. Make this circle a construction circle by checking the box for construction under the property manager for circle. Assigning it a diameter of 3.6. We sketch two arcs using arc under sketch toolbar, three point arc. The starting point is the end of the previous sketch, the end point of the arc is on the circumference of the construction circle. We draw another arc as a three point arc 
which will be from the end of the previous arc and is lying on the circumference of the construction circle or co-radial with the construction circle. We assign the appropriate relations such as tangency between the arc and the line from the previous sketch, relation of peers between the line from the previous sketch and the starting point of the arc of the present sketch relation of tangency between the two arcs the end point of the second arc is assigned as horizontal to the origin to fully define the sketch we save this and exit we now make use of the same construction circle to convert it into a solid circle to be used for generating the helix We select the helix plane again, moving into the sketching mode. We select the construction circle and under sketch toolbar we use convert entities to get a solid circle. We would use the solid circle to generate the helix and that can be done using helix and a features toolbar you have curves and it you have helix and spiral we select constant pitch assigning it a pitch value of 0.75 and assigning it the number of revolutions as 3 start angle as 270 degree and the direction as clockwise we accept this and we now observe that we have 2D sketches under sketch 1, 4 and 5, 6 on top of the base and a spiral or a helix curve coming in from sketch number 6. We combine all of these sketches to form one single path or a 3D sketch using composite curve. We go to features toolbar, under curves we select composite curve and from the design tree we assign the sketch 1, sketch 4, sketch 5 that's coming in from the right plane, the sketch 6 in the helix plane. and the spiral as as the entities to be joined together say so, okay and we now get the composite curve which is combination of all those sketches let us hide the helix plane we now make the profile that is to sweep across this path we create a new plane from features reference geometry plane 
a first reference as the helix from the top end assigning it a relation perpendicular the second reference we pick up the end point of the helix and assign it a relation of coincident click on ok we may rename this as profile plane we make a sketch on this plane of a circle having a diameter of 0.3125 we give a relation between the center of the circle and the point from the helix the end point from the helix or we may select the the helix itself and the center of the circle assign a relation of peers to fully define the sketch let us hide the profile plane we sweep this profile all across the path coming from the composite curve by going over features toolbar swept boss base in the profile we assign the sketch number 8 that is exit the sketch rebuild you have sketch number 8 as the profile sketch going over features toolbar swept boss for the profile we assign sketch number 8 and for the path in the property manager for the sweep we select the composite curve and leaving the other options as default say ok so that completes the sweep feature for which we first generate the path and then create a profile to sweep across that path we hide the line coming from the path the composite curve you may remove the sharp edges by changing the display style to shade it assign another color That completes the module number 13.